In this video, I will elaborate the term KPI and explain it with examples and its importance in performance testing. The full form of KPI is Key Performance Indicator through which we can measure the performance of any application. You can consider KPI as the metrics used to analyze the performance. Let me explain KPI with a simple example. Suppose you are working on any project and you want to track your progress like how many tasks are completed and how much work is still pending to finish the whole project. So the metrics or the measurements that you will use to calculate the progress, those metrics are called as KPI means Key Performance Indicator through which you will get clear picture of how much work is done and how much is pending. For example, the automation task is assigned to you and you have to automate total 200 test cases. And in one week, suppose you automated total 20 test cases. So the number of automated test cases is your key performance indicator. Because the target is to achieve total 200 test cases at the end. So how will you analyze your progress? You will check the report in which your automated test cases per week will be displayed. Similarly, in performance testing, we have some metrics to measure the quality or performance of the application through which we will have clear idea where is the performance issue that we can improve. Key performance indicators are used almost in every field to analyze the work performance and keep everything on track. For example, in the screenshot, you can see the graph of capacity utilization, work hours and billable utilization. All these are metrics or key performance indicators. The terms used for metrics may be different based on different project, but the motive of KPI is same everywhere that is to measure the performance. Why KPIs are important? Through KPIs, you will know whether you are going in right direction or not. Because by analyzing the KPIs on regular basis, you will know the actual performance of your application. And KPIs help to clearly see the failures, what's working and not working, and what can be improved more. Get an idea of whether the application is ready for release on production or not on performance perspective. If thousands of users will use our application at same time, whether it will work fine or create issues. So to analyze all those things, KPIs play an important role in performance testing. KPIs used in performance testing let me tell you some parameters which are used as key performance indicators in performance testing. First is response time. Suppose when you perform any action on website, the request has been sent to the server at backend. It's time to measure how long it takes the system to process a request. Requests per second, it will indicate that how many requests can be handled by the server in a second. Concurrent users, how many users can use application simultaneously. Throughput, the measurement of the average bandwidth consumed. Session length, it calculates how long time did someone spend on your application and how long the session is maintained. Memory problems or utilization to validate and handle if there is a memory leak. Network latency. In performance testing, the term latency or better to call to network latency of a request is travel time from client to server and server to the client. Some testers called it network delay. 
एवरेज लोड टाइम एवरेज लोड टाइम इज अनादर इम्पोर्टेंट मेट्रिक ड्यूरिंग परफॉर्मेंस टेस्टिंग द लोडिंग टाइम इज इम्पोर्टेंट एस्पेशली फ्रॉम यूजर्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू द फास्टर इज द लोडिंग हायर इज द परफॉर्मेंस CPU usage it indicates the amount of CPU utilization. There are a lot more key performance indicators which you can use based on different requirements. For more tutorials, stay connected and subscribe the channel Automation Exercise.